Hey everybody! So, uh, yeah, I've travelled back to Shady Bell and I'm going to see Sadie Edler and hopefully test out these Lamat revolvers in this mission. No idea what she wants. Uh, well, actually. Hello, Arthur. Hey, Bill. Uh huh. Yeah, stay away from me, Micah. Yeah, creep. Uh, right. Where is. Oh, yeah, it's upstairs oh, this it? time, isn't it? How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, shit. What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! The Driscoll boys are coming! Huh, what have they done to him? What do you think they've done to him? Alright, let's test out these bad boys. Oh, why can't I jump through the... Well, that was me, I just dive over the freaking <laughs> banister. Why not? Come on, damn Driscoll! Driscoll, get out of there! Stay back Hold in here. here. Stay away from the window. Get inside, fat! Come on, quick! Don't let anyone back through that door! I haven't got... have I? No, I... no. No, I have. I'm back to the house! Oh, the hell. Let him run! Oh. Oh. God, going on? We're overrun! Just keep it. Oh! Damn. Wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, restart from checkpoint. I don't want to redo the whole mission.
Yep, run away, horsies. Oh, they're behind me, that's why. Oh, I have to go back to the house. I missed, yeah. Alright. Now you pay attention. Yeah, you have to retreat into the house. I'm just, yeah. Whenever I see like the wagon coming towards me, I'm just really concerned about taking out everybody on that wagon. Forehead. I don't know. I think you corner now, you no good bastards. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Look what we got here. One of their boys. Sadie, Sadie, I'm coming. Sadie. Sadie. Oh. Sadie. Well, shit. Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Sandler. Oh, no. Ah! No. No. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Like, Arthur's starting here going, yeah, you need us in the house. I mean, I'm just following her. Okay, uh, items. So, except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Uh, 
Okay then, I can yeah travel back to Saint Denis and go to the question mark and yeah go and see Dutch. Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. Oh my, another morning. Oh, he sounds happy to be alive. Okay, what's next? There you go. There's the question mark. So, where's my horse? My horse is over there. Yeah, let's go traveling. The stew is currently being prepared. Check again. Afternoon. Yep, now it's time for this long, long horse ride all the way back to Saint Denis. I love this game, but yeah, the distances to travel sometimes can be a bit uh, jarring, off putting. At least with GTA, you can just hit the accelerate and you're gone. Nope, not stopping. Sorry. Oh, come on! Bad karma. Ah, uh, no wonder that karma mob, like, the karma meter down there is, like, slowly going down to, like, evil. Or whatever it's called, renegade. Like, every time I see someone who's like, Hey, mister, mister, don't leave me be. Then I leave them be. <laughs> this is like, yep, that's an evil thing to do. It's not really, I'm just minding my own business. They could be deranged, axe-wielding murderers, for all I know. Okay, here we are. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen? Yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, 
You want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The Counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, now on to Dutch. Yep. Me and the. Yeah, but that's not now, though, is it? Meeting Eagle Flies. Okay, that's later on in the game. Ah, nope, gotta wait. Oh. Look, keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, that was all. That was. Yeah, that was awkward. It might just change your life. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M. Give me your money. Fine. It ain't so worth dying. Mr. M. Okay. Take that room back there. Fine, it's yours. I got this one. Die. That's your choice. Not mine. All your money now. Don't I make me ask twice. And let this my acquaintance look, 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 inside. You need to I give me all your open money. Open the gate now. and let my acquaintance in. Okay? There's nothing much yes. here. What? Of course. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think mm. they keep much cash. This isn't there. looking Open like it's going it. to turn out well, does it? Eh. Nada. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. 
Come on now! We got you surrounded! That Sink greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! There's no better time than when the police are chasing Follow you. Me, gentlemen. For sarcasm. Yeah, they'll never catch us on the tram. Is this trying to go to Tahiti? Ah, oh, it's the pistol thing I got, not the revolver. Nice. Oh, I was in the eye. The must have called in Nasty. Every cop in the city. I was in the name of the law. Outside the saloon. Oh, damn. We are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down. Slow this thing down. I'll try. What a position to end up in. Dutch. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the, the, the revolver. I have ammo for this. Right behind you. Yeah, this hasn't been a good series of events, has it? Ambushed in our camp, ambushed in the town. We've basically just wiped out half the police force here. Maybe a bit more than half. Like, they'll definitely be recruiting heavily after this. Okay, we might need it. Ah! 
I, I love this gun so much. Is the horse okay? Yep, the horse is fine. That's all I care about. Ooh, side of the neck is a very bad place. Like, it's not instant death, but uh, you just kind of bleed out. Ooh. I was reloading when he said that. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. I think that went well overall. But as well as it could turn out. A hundred and eighty dollar bounty. Jesus. Makes sense. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah. You're a good kid. Well, we each got. Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Maybe it's that bash on the head that really sort of makes Dutch go mad. Makes him go insane. It's all because he fell over in a trolley. Tram, whatever you want to call it. Uh, where... Uh, oh, fuck off. No way. <laughs> okay. Well, that pretty much settles it. I'm going to call it a day. Uh, here and sort of start the travel all the way up there. Ugh, I am not looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed the uh, video. Hope you've all enjoyed the commentary. I hope the commentary sounds better than it has over the last few uh, episodes. If you could leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button, uh, that would be great. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself. Do take care and, uh, well, do carry on gaming.